Welcome back to Taxidermy Workshop. Today I'm going to teach you how to fill out your customer's order. We're going to go up here to Application, Clients and Suppliers. We're going to search the customer's last name. As you get more and more clients into your database, you will not be able to come down here and just pick the few that are in here. So for today, we're going to work with the Landon Thompson. So we'll type in Landon Thompson. Here's his information. When this pulls up, at this point, if you need to change any of their information, address, phone number, this is a good time to do it. We're going to go up here. We're going to click Order. We're going to create a new order. Uh, this has an estimated completion date, which is a really nice feature of the system. This really helped my shop out a lot. I, the estimated completion date will show up on the top right-hand side of your invoice. When I give my invoices to my customers, I make sure to tell them that their estimated completion time is at the top of the page. That reduces a lot of phone calls. You can also set this in the system for six months, eight months, 10 months, 12 months, two years, however you'd like to do it, it will project that date automatically for you. So for instance, this guy, we're gonna tell him it's, his project's gonna be done roughly on February 28th. We're gonna go ahead and save this order. We're gonna go up here to the new job tab. We're gonna give this guy a white tail here. Mount type, click the down arrow. We're gonna go ahead and do a shoulder mount. The pose, which is kind of nice, this has a whole list of them. If the guy says, hey, I want a full sneak and I want it looking to the right, we can scroll down through here. Uh, full sneak, right turn. How would you like your ear position? Do you want them alert? Do you want them back? Do you want us just to just kind of do however we think would look the best? This is also a great spot to add habitat, driftwood, different things for different projects. So this guy we're gonna go ahead and do ears back. This also does show up on the invoice. We're gonna scroll down here to workflow. We're gonna do show all, and we're gonna do, it's gonna be a shoulder mount in the big game. The workflow is important because that's gonna show up all through your whole system if you sort by just shoulder mount big game. So we'll enter the hunter's tag number. We're gonna say the state that he got it. We'll say Michigan. And we will say he shot it in Kalamazoo County. All right, and then from this point, we can come up here and add notations in here. Want a Big neck. All right, that's going to wrap up this session of exactly how to fill this out. And when we skip to the next one, we'll talk about filling out your specimen tag, harvest date, acquisition. Right now, we're just going to go ahead and save the job.